So in today's setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to get up and running with the awesome Sega Model 2 emulator. So if you're new to Sega Model 2, it's pretty much an arcade machine which played almost Dreamcast games such as Daytona, which I'm playing right just here. So in this video, we're going to show you where to get the emulator from and how to set it up, including how to set up your controller and actually how to set up your directory path using what's known as an indie file. So if you want to play some very cool Sega Model 2 games, this is the video for you. Check this one out. Okay, so before I start today's setup guide, make sure to hit notifications and subscribe and like if you like today's video so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. So we're looking at the Sega Model 2 emulator then today and I last covered this one going back in early April this year, 2023. So we're going to do another setup guide on this day for an update. So what we're going to do first is head over to the website to get this emulator from and the link is going to be in my description and we can download it here download model 2 emulator just left click on that one so we've now downloaded that now the first thing i'm going to recommend is checking out the compatibility list and again the list of this is going to be in my description if we just scroll down we'll see a little table here. So we've got the Model 2 emulator, which is what we're gonna be using today. And the green ticks below for each game tells you that these games are working fine. So out of all of this list for the Model 2 emulator, there's literally just two games which aren't gonna work. But that goes for MAME and a couple of other emulators as well. And in fact, as we can see here, the very best emulator for Sega Model 2 games is the Model 2 emulator very clearly is the winner here okay so once you've got your emulator it will likely download in a .zip file that's fine what we're going to do then is right click on the desktop go to new and I'm going to create a new folder to extract this into so I'm going to just call this one Sega that's fine you can call that whatever you want and if we drag that zip inside of that Sega folder let's go inside Sega folder and what we're going to do is just right click on that zip. Now I'm using WinRAR, but you might be using a different extraction tool. Regardless, we need to extract the contents. So extract, and we can now delete that .zip. We no longer need this one. Next thing we're going to do is right click inside of this folder, new folder, and I'm going to call this one games. I'm going to put this in here because everything needs to be together for simplicity. So we've got the games folder and I've got my Daytona.zip in just to remind you that your games need to be in .zip file extension for this to work just like mine. So once you put your game or your games into that games folder, we're going to go up to the search bar at the top and just left click. And what we need to do is just right click when your text is highlighted and left click on copy. And if we come back out, now the first thing we need to do before open up any games is configure the emulator.ini file just here. So we need to point this to where the games are located and we also need to set up a controller for this. We just double left click emulator ini. Okay, so we're going to see ROMs directory, which is a few lines down and below it, we're going to see a semicolon. If we just backspace this and what I'm going to do is just delete this text just here and control and V together to paste in what we've just copied from that games directory. And we're also going to now backspace until you have exactly how I've got this right here. Next up, if we scroll down just a touch, we're gonna to find input. Under X input, it's currently got the value of zero. We need to backspace this and type in the digit one. And you can configure lots of different settings from here, but I'll leave that up to you. And if you mess anything up, just a simple case of downloading the emulator again. Okay, so we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to save and we can now close this down. Next thing we're going to do is open up emulator. And here we go. So to load your game up, what we're gonna do is go to emulator at the top, load ROM. 
and then just choose the version of the game you've got. So mine is working just fine with Daytona USA. And here we go. So first thing we need to do with this is actually set up or configure our controller. So to configure controller, I'm gonna just go to game at the top, configure controls, and from here, we can then define the controls for this particular game. So if we double left click on up, I'm gonna use my controller and press up, and as we can see, that's now changed. And again for down, left, right, for this game, I'm also going to check steering, accelerate, and brake. And the very important ones here to be defining is coin one. And I'm gonna just define that. I'm gonna use select on my controller for this. And just above it, we'll see start. Double left click, and I'm gonna press on my start button. So once you've configured everything just here, we're just gonna to go to close. And if I press on my controller, select for example, that's now a certain a coin. So controller is ready to go. And what we're gonna do next is press F2 and this is gonna bring us into test mode. So in order to navigate this test menu screen, it's just a simple case of pressing F1 on your keyboard and to enter into one of these settings, we just press F2 and F2 to come back out. Now for this particular game, I'm gonna to need to go to game system, F2 and right at the top on link ID, I'm gonna press F2, and I'm gonna select single. And if I come back down using F1, press F2 on exit, and F1 just to come right to the bottom, exit, and press F2. Once you're inside your game, if you go under video at the top, full screen resolution, you can then change the resolutions which you desire. And by the way, once you've gone through that process once, it will then boot up every time. So you don't need to go into that test mode menu. And once you're in the game, if you feel your controllers aren't working properly, then it's just a case of pressing escape on your keyboard, game, configure controls, and then you can then determine which buttons it is which aren't working and you can go through that process again. And just close. And then just close. And switch to full screen. So that's it for today's setup guide for the awesome Sega Model 2 emulator. So like I said at the start of the video, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, make sure to hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And if you're interested in arcade games, yesterday I uploaded a very, very in-depth really cool guides to meme and the day before that i uploaded a techno parrot setup guide so be sure to check those out also and also check me out on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok but until next time stay retro